Hey, what's up guys, it's Checkmate Flips, and today we're gonna talk about how you can make an extra $100 a day from your iPhone, wherever you are, wherever you have service or internet. So this is gonna be especially helpful for people who already know how to sell on Amazon and wanna just make some extra money, and learning how to use Keepa is gonna be very helpful for this. Uh, you can do this on the side of your current Amazon business. You can do this as a full-time thing, just in and of itself, if you increase the numbers. Um, so make sure to stick around to the end because I don't think I've heard anyone else really talk about this business model at all. So who am I and why am I qualified to talk about this method? So I do this method for my whole business model. Um, I sometimes do it from my phone and I sometimes do it from my computer, but this is my whole business model and I do 70 to 80K in sales per month currently. And I've been selling on Amazon for a year and a half now, so I have a good understanding of how to sell on Amazon. And there aren't many people talking about this business model where you buy from eBay and you sell on Amazon. And it's cool because you can do this from your phone from anywhere. Also, this video is going to have some live sourcing in it on the phone. And we end up finding some really cool stuff. So stick around and we will see what that ends up being. So there's a couple things you're going to need for this method. You're going to need an Amazon seller account. You're going to need an app for that seller account. You're gonna need a Keepa subscription, you're gonna need Inventory Lab, and you're also gonna need the eBay app. If you don't have any of those things, you can look up on other videos how to do that. But for now, we're gonna to stick to this method. So this method centers around having a catalog of items that you can buy over and over again and be looking for over and over again. So it's important to keep track of the things that you're looking for. And I would do that with a note tab like this where you keep track of the name, ASIN, buy cost and sale price and then you can dump a bunch of ideas that you have along the way down here in this section. Before you make your first couple of purchases you're going to need to make the choice of whether you're going to have a prep center do the prep for you or whether you're going to do your own prep. So depending on this you're either going to send the items directly to your prep center and they're going to prep and ship it out for you and you're going to pay them a flat fee of one to two dollars probably per item or you're going to have it shipped to your address at home and you're going to do the prep and send it out to amazon uh, there are videos on youtube of how to prepare a shipment if that's what you're wanting to do um, or you can look into prep centers uh, hopefully in a tax-free state that you can use to prep your items all right, so we're all set up. And so now we need to think of ideas and fill our idea catalog there. So one of the best ways to do this is by looking for a brand that we're interested in or a type of item we are interested in. So we're gonna look at how to do that now. At the very, very start, you're gonna have to come up with one idea that you can free associate from. So for this one, we're gonna use the idea power drill and see what we come up with. So you go to add a product type in your idea so for this idea it's going to be power drill so you can take a screenshot of all these options and you can also search it and see what comes up so we see that there's something called the drill doctor there's something called a drill sharpener there's the dd 350x <clears throat> There's the Avid Power. So we can take pictures of all these and put them into the note. And then from here, we'll look at our pictures of the things that we screenshotted. So we got some ideas now. All right, so we have some ideas, and so what we do is we take some of these ideas and we put them into Amazon and see if any of these are fast-moving items that we can make a profit on. So go to add a product, paste it in, see what comes up. So we see this here is a rank 3600 in tools and is $140 so it looks like this one could have some potential here it looks like we would be the only used seller here so we go ahead and put this into our idea sheet 
by getting the ASIN right here, copying that, putting that in our note. Drill Doctor 750X, I think it was X. Yeah. So a sales price, um, we would have to look at Keepa to know this for sure, but it would probably be around $120. And so if we want to get this for 40% ROI, we can use our calculator here and enter the price. I must have looked at this in the past because I had something entered here. So 120, we're gonna net $93 at like 66. So 27 divided by 66. Yeah, so that's basically 40%. So we would need to buy this at around $66. So we're gonna find one more so that we can demonstrate this. So one of our ideas here is the um, let's try the build, drill bit sharpener. So let's see how that goes. 135 degree. Oh, so that's degree. Interesting. Seeing anything here. So interestingly enough, we're not even seeing what we saw before. But we could probably find it just like this, yeah. All right, so one of them is restricted, so this is one. And obviously nobody's on the restricted one. So let's see what this is. So Amazon's selling this one. Um, we'd have to look at the Keepa to see if this is even something that um, ever sells used, but um, if we price it lower than the used, uh, than the new price, almost for sure it's going to sell because people are happy to get a discount. And people also like buying used in order to be environmentally friendly and whatnot. So um, we're going to enter this into our note sheet. So the sale price, we haven't looked at Keepa yet, but hypothetically maybe. 15 to $20 under, so it was 99, so we'll call it 84. And a buy price for this, so we'd have to go back in here. We don't even know yet if we can get these profitably, but we will see if we can get it profitably. So 84, so probably 44. 17 divided by 44. It's around 40%. <clears throat> so we'll just call it 45. Cool. So we have two ideas that we can start to look into eBay for. So now that we found a couple items to look through, we want to search those in eBay. So we've searched the Drill Doctor 750X. We need to know what price we're looking for it at. Uh, $66. And one thing to keep in mind here is that the items that are extremely low ranked like this one there's a higher chance that the margins are going to be smaller because you know that just makes sense if they sell faster uh, people are going to be willing to spend more money in order to make less money um, so we might not be able to find 40 but we may need to settle for 25 percent or 30 percent but we will just see um, how the history of this item has been so we can use some filters here to take a look at this. So we can sort by lowest. Um, obviously these are accessories here, um, but we can scroll down and see what options we have. Um, so the lowest active right now is this auction going on here in the middle. Um, that's at like 81 bucks right now. Um, so what we need to do is, there's obviously nothing available right now, but we need to see if there has been anything available in the past because then that can predict that there may be some things available in the future. So we go up to the top right filter, we go to um, solds. And so there have been a lot of these that have sold. We don't want for parts. 
Um, so what we can do here is we can filter by price. Well, we need to see actually um, if best offers were accepted. So it looks like parts only. There was a brand new one sold for 75. There's a pre-owned one sold for a little over 75. So there were two at around 75. There's another one at like 88. Um, there's another one at 89. So if we take the 75, So if we sell at the price that we were talking about, 120, and we bought it for 75, that would be a profit of $18 with an ROI of 24%. Sometimes on a fast moving item like this one, that's what you're gonna have to shoot for and do. Um, and sometimes there are gonna be opportunities to buy at a cheaper price. Um, you can also experiment with looking on other sites like Macari, or um, Poshmark even sometimes. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and look at the other one because for now, I think I'm not really willing to do that low of a price for this because I'm not familiar with this. So we're gonna go back to the other item and take a look. So we're gonna put this into Amazon so we know what we're looking at. So at that $84, buy cost of $45. All right, so we're looking for the DD500X. All right, so we're here. Right now what's listed seems to very much so not be the right price points. People are selling as new. So we're gonna look at the sold price here again to see if in the past people have sold this for the right price yeah so here we go uh this one was 35 dollars it was an open box this one was 50 bucks this one was 52 so if we were to buy this at 50 bucks It would be 11 profit and probably around 20% ROI. So the two ones that we found are a bit short of profit, but basically what you do is you find a lot of ideas like this. Potentially it'll be something that is a little bit slower of a seller than this because this is just gonna fly off the shelf. I mean, if you just look at this listing, nobody's really staying in stock that well. Um, you're going to end up finding more profitable items and more chances to find things that actually sell on eBay. So we could choose to keep looking in this category or we could choose to try other ideas. So for the sake of this video, we're going to try another idea. Uh, we're going to think of calculators that we could search for. So when I think of calculators, I think of the TI-84 from school. So maybe we'll see if that could work. And uh, <clears throat> spoiler alert, I have done these in the past. So it looks like they sell for around 60 bucks. Look at the FBA offers. So this is a very fast moving item, 788. Yeah, so it looks like there's a big gap between the cheapest price and the next cheapest price. Um, so it really realistically looks like we could sell these for around 70 bucks at least. Um, yeah, I mean, we could just safely say 70 bucks. Yep, so that's about 40%. So we need to find something that's under $42 on eBay. So 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to condition used, go ahead and do, um, what was it? Lowest price. So we don't want for parts. Um, we're trying to just buy something right now, not an auction. Uh, the gray one is different. Um, but this one's looking very promising. So this is the exact same one. And this one has a defect. It has no batteries and it has a dark screen. So if you're up for selling things with defects, you could buy this one. Um, I have done this in the past and as long as you say that it is used acceptable with a, uh, a big spot on the screen, um, this can work. Um, and this one actually is definitely a good deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this because I'm always hunting for stuff and I'm not gonna tell you guys to buy stuff if I don't buy stuff. So I'll probably edit out the address, but I went ahead and bought it. But yeah, you can see here that there are different things you can look into. Uh, this one you can see that it has a screen defect um, and no batteries as well. So if you want to pay up and have it not have like that battery issue, um, you can, or you can just list them as use acceptable and potentially give a discount instead. So I kept looking through that and I made a couple more purchases here. Um, I purchased this calculator that we were talking about before for around $26. I purchased this one for around $28. I purchased this one. Um, it has a very, very light defect uh, for 30 bucks and this one that we were also talking about for $28. So we'll go in the Amazon app and see how much money we made, even if we gave a discount. So if we go on Amazon for uh, probably three of them, it's going to be potentially a discount, but I have sold these like this for 70 bucks before. So we're gonna say $26. So that's 33 profit. I'm going to keep track of it like that. $28. So 31 profit. The next one is 30 profit. Or not 30 profit, but a 30 buy cost. That's going to be 29 profit. And the last one is $28. So that's gonna be 31 profit. So right there, we have $124 sourced. And that was just from one item. And for this $124 profit, we also need to keep in mind that we need to uh, factor in how much the prep center is going to cost so it depends on your prep center for me it's around a dollar each so this is only four items so it's going to be four bucks less so that leaves us with 120 profit and then if we do have to lower the price we will make less than that 124 but still we are very solidly over that hundred dollars profit and as you get into this more and more and start selling your first few items, you're gonna to have to experiment with how many items you can sell per month or per however long you're wanting your items to sell. I personally don't go over a max of a month. I want my items to be selling within a month of them getting there and often within a couple weeks. So it really just depends on how fast you want your items to sell and you're gonna to have to test that and there's no perfect answer to that. So basically the name of the game here is that you're gonna to have to do research like this and actually find items that have consistently sold for that uh, 40, 50, 60% ROI that you're looking for. And then once you have a stockpile of a few items that you can be consistently looking for, you need to be looking for these items on eBay and making those purchases because 
you are gonna have to be the first one in order to see this deal and find this deal so you're gonna have to uh, potentially check your list of items every single day or multiple times a day in order to make the purchases that you're wanting to do. Depending on your ROI based on whether you're doing 40% or whether you're doing 60%, you're probably going to need somewhere in the ballpark of five to $8,000 to do this. And so if you're confident in your Amazon and your Keepa skills, you can do something like a 0% APR card where you don't have to pay back that money for several months to a year or you can use savings or you can reinvest from other side hustles in order to make this happen but you're just not gonna make $100 a day out of nowhere and it kinda takes money to make money so you just gotta figure something out in order to make this work or you can start smaller by making $20 a day, $30 a day and then you can take it from there and reinvest. Compared to other side hustles or something like a traditional store, this doesn't have too high of an overhead cost so the overhead cost at the beginning is gonna be somewhere around $100 a month so you're gonna need a seller account you're gonna need an inventory lab account and you're gonna need Keepa so that's gonna be around a hundred dollars a month and then eventually maybe you'll get a repricer and then what you're gonna need to do is as you're buying these items you're gonna need to bake the dollar or two that it takes for a prep center to prep these items for you into your profit um, or you're gonna have to bake in your um, however much it costs for you to prep them yourselves um, into your profit. So that's how you find things from eBay to sell on Amazon and that's how you can do it from your phone from the comfort of your own home from wherever you are. So if this is helpful to you then feel free to help out my business by liking the video and subscribing. Have a great day.